Hi out there, everybody. Today is February 1st, 2022, which means it is time to say rabbit, rabbit. Does anybody else remember that? Wake up on the first of the month. First thing you're supposed to do is say rabbit, rabbit for good luck for the month. But in any case, welcome to another Tuesday from the shop with Skip from here in beautiful and today snowy Lowland, Switzerland. Uh, on to the business of hand, and that being, uh, I'd like to play for you the next uh, tune from my uh, I Love Me Wall here. Uh, actually, my I Love Me Wall goes uh, all around all four walls here in my office. I'm so insecure, but that is a uh, neurosis for another day. Uh, today's tune was written by a great friend of mine named John Mumford Benoit. Uh, who hails from the lovely burg of Uxbridge, my favorite town name, Uxbridge. Massachusetts has some great town names, I have to say, and Uxbridge being at the top of the list. Um, this is a little bit kind of to the north, maybe a bit northwest of my hometown of East Greenwich. I started uh, hanging out with John in the mid-70s when he... Um, cycled out of the Old Guard Fife and Drum Corps, returning to civilian life. Uh, he would come down to East Greenwich from Uxbridge, usually on his uh, BMW motorcycle, which was uh, quite exciting in the wintertime. Uh, we would then drive down from East Greenwich to Branford, Connecticut, to Harbor Street, to visit with our mutual friend, John Chalia. And we started playing through some of uh, Chalia's early duets and trios and quartets. Uh, in hindsight, a magical, magical time. Uh, we would continue playing all of these arrangements for years and years to come. Um, I eventually started drifting more into the, uh, the Celtic music world. And um, the two Johns uh, went forward with a group called Fife in the Fast Lane for a few years uh, after that. Uh, as far as Mumford goes, Mumford is a great, uh, along with Chalia, Mumford is also a great arranger of music, great composer of original tunes. One thing I really like about uh, John's style of arrangement is uh, Mumford arranges tunes to be reflective of the style of the group the arrangement is being written for. So when he wrote things that were for for example, the Connecticut Blues, they had a very tight uh, competition uh, style feeling as the Blues were a very high level uh, competition style group. He would write a lot of arrangements for uh, Middlesex County volunteers of a very different style that group played at a, a slower pace, much more grand, uh, open, uh, classical Baroque kind of uh, style of arrangements uh, when, he, uh, when he would write for the Kettish Guards or for, for whatever group. It would sound like music that that group should be playing. Uh, it always had the Mumford sound, but more importantly, it had the sound of the group. Uh, that was uh, That's not so easy to do and something I always had a lot of respect for uh, Mumford's ability to do that. For his tunes, you can always kind of look for three things to happen in a John Benoit tune. And right now, John is sitting in his house in Southbury, Connecticut, going, yeah, what? You can expect triplets. John likes triplets. You can expect notes to be tied over bar lines because John likes messing with the rhythm a little bit, but he's such a humanitarian. Later on in the line, he'll do another one of those long notes to get you back in rhythm before he throws in another one to get you off rhythm slapping you around a little bit. So uh, you gotta pay attention a little bit with John's tunes. And the third thing is you can expect an accidental someplace. If it's supposed to be a G natural, expect a G sharp. An F natural, expect an F sharp. And thus, and so on. So um, all of that makes John's tunes a lot of fun to play. You have to actually play the tune. You can't just mail them in, you have to show up. Uh, like to give a go now at uh, what he titled Skip Healy's Jig. I'm going to play it on the fife, up in the fifey range, so I'm going to push back just a little bit from the computer here. You might need to turn down your uh, playback a little bit. But here we go, Skip Healy's Jig from John Mumford Benoit.
There you go. Great tune. Skip Healy's Jig, written by the great John Mumford Benoit. I know John has uh, released a couple of books of his arrangements and uh, technical guide to playing the fife. I'm not sure if he has a website or anything like that to contact him through. I believe some of it was sold through the uh, Company of Fifers and Drummers website at one point. Not sure if it still is. But in any case, any case John Benoit's music. Hope you can find it out there someplace because it is worth playing. That's about it for this week. Looking forward to playing another tune for you next week on our next Tunes Day from the shop. Until then, everybody, take care of yourself. Mumford, thanks for the great tune, bro. Cheers, all. <laughs>